Hi Aquarius, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. All right, we are on our way to October 2019. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so here's the deal. During the month of October, we all know for a fact that the veil is quite thin. Readers all say, well, you know, the veil is thin and a lot happens during the month of October. However, we don't really know why. So let me just try to explain as simplified as I can of this. During the month of October, during each year, there are some souls who end up ascending, yes, through death, what have you. Souls are ascending even when they're in the astral plane. They become our spirit guides, hence they teach us and we learn from, you know, they learn from us through, through our life experience, right? However, the souls, then if they learn, they will ascend. So it's like changing of the guards, yeah? If they don't learn, just like here on the earth plane, as above, so below, if the lessons have not been learned, then the souls fall from grace, right? They descend. So we either ascend or we descend. And especially during the month of October, because it not only happens here on the earth plane, it happens in the astral plane, where a lot of the souls are there waiting for, like we are, right? Whenever that day comes where we're in a judgment day mode where we, you know, second coming. All right, so now that's for all to understand how the veil is so thin during the month of October. On another note, I have gotten from my spirit guides a written poem, very short, but very powerful nonetheless. So be mindful of sleuth awakens the dead bringing souls to their knees. So beware of witches, warlocks amongst you they live. No time to waste, dispose of them in haste. So what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of energy that isn't, you know, isn't for your highest good. So be mindful of that. Have you cleared out the people in your circle of friends, family, etc.? Have you done it? Have you released those people who are not going to be a part of your soul's mission, your soul's ascension? They are gone. The door is locked and sealed. It's sealed. It's gone. No one can enter where the light shines bright. Okay, so now I'm going to do this reading is different this month because I need to shorten these readings up for, um, I have, you know, other projects I'm working on. So thank you for understanding and I think you will like it. I'm going to choose three cards from the John Holland deck, right? And then as you can see, I'm keeping my beautiful spirit guides. The writing is coming here. It's gonna be on the wall, literally here on the paper. Aquarius one, two, three. It's going to reveal your progression, right? What are the progressive messages for Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, all right. Three cards, and then I'm going to then pull three cards from the Romance Angel deck and three cards or two, whatever I hear that I need to do for each sign that varies, Ascended Masters and Archangel deck, okay? So let me put the camera down. I'll shuffle one more, two more times. Nope, I'm hearing three. Three more times, and let, then we're ready. Got it. That is it. Let's go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
bored, disappointed, wanting the castle on the hill, but your foundation and stability is due to exhaustion, depression, fear, some anxiety, If anything, I'm feeling this is about your instability and insecurities and being bored from, you know, from it, right? Being bored. Now we have two fours. Look at this. You have two fours. You have the emperor. So Aquarius, you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. The emperor typically is an Aries and you're bored. You're, you're fatigued. You have some anxiety and there could be some illness I just heard from your boredom and anxiety. The universe is saying you need to turn the page, close the chapter of part, some part of your life that maybe you're not seeing clearly. Okay, those are the three cards. So let's review. The review is your financial and secure security your financial security your survival everything about your authoritativeness i'm hearing is about to change because there the universe is saying there's financial issues here you wanted that house on the hill and now you're depressed and bored because it hasn't happened or there is anxiety and fear and you're being asked to take this instability and start taking charge of your life okay so that you can walk away from that which you thought was gon going to secure your your um life okay whatever was supposed to pan out might not have panned out could have been a business deal could have been a business Arrangement could have been a um, codependency on someone else's authoritative, you know, being. Could it be you? You need to take charge of your life. That's front and center right here. In the middle of the boredom and disconnect and is writing a new chapter. So what does that mean to me? You can see you need to walk away from what hasn't worked take charge of your life, and rewrite history. Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get to the messages. You can see the page is blank. I will keep it down so you could see me writing accordingly. What is the? What are the three messages for Aquarius? And this is a progression. Okay, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here are the three messages that have been written on paper for you. You need to, your need, excuse me, your need to be right is not getting you anywhere, so please stop. A financial deal is over. Karma is dead. Listen to your family about where you've turned left and should have gone right, which correlates with this, right? 
you went one way and you should have gone another, it looks like. You should have taken control of your life and not let something stand in your way. And that was your, that is either your need to be right and or a financial deal that went awry. Listen to your family and ask for their opinion, advice on how you went one way and maybe should have gone another. All right, three cards from the Oracle. This is from Doreen Virtue's Romance Oracle deck. Let's get three cards for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising for October. Reconciling, maybe that was what you wanted and did not happen. Maybe that's where you needed to listen to your family about and you didn't, so that ended up being, a, maybe that was the deal that you should have taken. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. I'll get more info. Codependency. So did you reconcile because you were wanting to be codependent on someone else? Someone else for comfort, someone else for stability, someone else for security, someone else to give you that big castle on the hill, right? Where did you turn? Where did you turn left and you should have turned right? Last card is, well, there was definite attraction. There is definite attraction in a situation that could have and or been reconciled. So you might have reconciled with someone and it could be right here, the person that you reconciled with because it was in the karmic cycle of your path, right? A lot of attraction, right? Sex and sex, drugs and rock and roll here, right? But what happened, what has happened is the reconciliation turned out to be more codependent, either with you or you with them. It works either or, okay? Heavy attraction, reconciliation, but then it turned into, well, I'm in it for what? What am I in this for? What is this codependency? What is it? I'm going to ask my guides to give me a semblance of what that codependency card is as a clarifying card. So Aquarius, this is either at you, happening to you or from you. The codependency is, as you can see, someone's financial success. The codependency is on someone's financial success. And that is why you're looking at the situation in a sense of, I'm discontent because I don't have that. Right? I don't have it. I want it. Right? So the universe is saying, stop and smell the roses here. Because maybe that is why you went one way and should have gone another. Okay. I'm just so you know, I'm these readings are going to be short and sweet and to the point. Because uploading these when I I've been doing the uploadings for between anywhere between 30 and 50 some minutes and they take forever. So just want you to know that we're short, sweet, to the point. And when we have uh, my spirit guides talking, you know, and the cards here, you can see the storyline is quite uh, accurate, right? All right, let's get a couple of Ascended Master cards. I only have two in hand and that's what we are needing to get. 
Paul the Venetian comes in and says, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you, experiencing grace. Also with this card, I always see it as it's time. The Paul the Venetian is wearing a cloak of green and the, hi the highlight here is the heart, which means you need to heal your heart from that which has not that which has not happened for your highest good, right? What you thought was going to turn out to be your blessing actually is your detriment because you went one way and you probably reconciled with the hopes of this instead of true love, right? The Master Buddha is increased awareness. Well, clearly now we've become aware of our own, um, our own choices, I just heard. Deep connection and trust your inner voice. Now it's time to trust your inner voice. Look, trust your inner voice, your inner voice, and take charge of your life, right? Masculine, feminine, merging as one, knowing that by doing so, you will create a new karmic cycle based upon love instead of deceiving yourself. This, this reconciliation that had all the signs of, oh my God, having it all, right? sex, drugs, and rock and roll. But this, this union came with a price, has come with a price. The price of boredom, the price of being ultimately not in charge of your life. You need to get back into being Aquarius, char in charge of your life, right? And rewrite a chapter. Rewrite this chapter. Turn the page. Rewrite the book so that you can gain now. You have the awareness that you need and the grace in order to experience um, a more, what is, um, intention for the good of others and not for the destruction of others. Have a great month. Bye.